Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am starting a new video series about pneumatic system. If you've ever wondered how air can power machines and make things move, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll talk about introduction of pneumatic system. This is my first video about pneumatic. I will teach you everything about the practical pneumatic that you want to know in industrial field. In this video, I will explain an introduction about pneumatics including What is a pneumatic system? What can pneumatic do? The advantages of pneumatic system Limitations of pneumatic system Basic components of a pneumatic system Maintenance of pneumatic system Air leakage of pneumatic system What is a pneumatic system? Pneumatic systems are a type of technology that uses compressed air to generate mechanical motion. This may sound simple, but the applications and potential of pneumatic systems are vast. From manufacturing industries to everyday tools, pneumatic systems play a significant role in making things work efficiently. What can pneumatics do? The applications for compressed air are limitless, from the optician's gentle use of low-pressure air to test fluid pressure in the human eyeball. The multiplicity of linear and rotary motions on robotic process machines, to the high forces required for pneumatic presses and concrete breaking pneumatic drills. Pneumatic systems are used in many applications. New uses for pneumatics are constantly being discovered. In construction, it is indispensable source of power for such tools as air drills, hammers, wrenches, and even air cushion supported structures, not to mention the many vehicles using air suspension, braking, and pneumatic tires. In manufacturing, air is used to power high speed clamping, drilling, grinding, and assembly using pneumatic wrenches and riveting machines. Plant air is also used to power hoists and cushion support to transport loads through the plant. The Advantages of Pneumatic Systems Pneumatic control systems are widely used in our society, especially in the industrial sectors for the driving of automatic machines. Pneumatic systems have a lot of advantages. Availability Most factories and industrial plants have a compressed air supply in working areas, and portable compressors can serve more remote situations. High Effectiveness Many factories have equipped their production lines with compressed air supplies and movable compressors. There is an unlimited supply of air in our atmosphere to produce compressed air. Moreover, the use of compressed air is not restricted by distance, as it can easily be transported through pipes. After use, compressed air can be released directly into the atmosphere without the need of processing. High Durability and Reliability Pneumatic components are extremely durable and cannot be damaged easily. Compared to electromotive components, pneumatic components are more durable and reliable. Simple design. The designs of pneumatic components are relatively simple. They are thus more suitable for use in simple automatic control systems. High adaptability to harsh environment. Compared to the elements of other systems, compressed air is less affected by high temperature, dust, corrosion, etc. Safety Pneumatic systems are safer than electromotive systems because they can work in inflammable environment without causing fire or explosion. Apart from that, overloading a pneumatic system will only lead to sliding or cessation of operation. Unlike electromotive components, pneumatic components do not burn or get overheated when overloaded. Easy selection of speed and pressure. The speeds of rectilinear and oscillating movement of pneumatic systems are easy to adjust and subject to few limitations. The pressure and the volume of air can easily be adjusted by a pressure regulator. Environmental friendly. The operation of pneumatic systems do not produce pollutants. The air released is also processed in special ways. Therefore, pneumatic systems can work in environments that demand high level of cleanliness. Environmentally clean. It is clean and with proper exhaust air treatment can be installed to clean room standards. Economy. Installation is of relatively low cost due to modest component cost. As pneumatic components are not expensive, the costs of pneumatic systems are quite low. 
Moreover, as pneumatic systems are very durable, the cost of repair is significantly lower than that of other systems. Choice of movement. LT offers both linear movement and angular rotation with simple and continuously variable operational speeds. Limitations of pneumatic systems. Although pneumatic systems possess a lot of advantages, they are also subject to many limitations. Relatively low accuracy. As pneumatic systems are powered by the force provided by compressed air, their operation is subject to the volume of the compressed air. As the volume of air may change when compressed or heated, the supply of air to the system may not be accurate, causing a decrease in the overall accuracy of the system. Low loading. As the cylinders of pneumatic components are not very large, a pneumatic system cannot drive loads that are too heavy. Processing required before use. Compressed air must be processed before use to ensure the absence of water vapor or dust. Otherwise, the moving parts of the pneumatic components may wear out quickly due to friction. Uneven moving speed. As air can easily be compressed, the moving speeds of the pistons are relatively uneven. Noise. Noise will be produced when compressed air is released from the pneumatic components. In a basic pneumatic system, consists of two main sections. 1. The air production and distribution system. 2. The air consuming system. Air compressor. Air taken in at atmospheric pressure is compressed and delivered at a higher pressure to the pneumatic system. LT thus transforms mechanical energy into pneumatic energy. Air compressors are either diesel or electrically operated. Based on the requirement of compressed air, suitable capacity compressors may be used. During compression operation, air temperature increases, air pressure typically measured in pounds per square inch, PSI, or bar. Air cooler. During compression operation, air temperature increases. Therefore, coolers are used to reduce the temperature of the compressed air. Tank. The compressed air coming from the compressor is stored in the air receiver. Auto drain. Drains all the water condensing in the tank without supervision. Dryer. The water vapor or moisture in the air is separated from the air by using a dryer. FLR. An FRL unit comprises a filter, F, regulator, R, and lubricator, L. These individual units can combine into one unit to ensure clean air in a pneumatic system. It is also possible to use each component individually. A proper air filter, regulator, and lubricator unit in a pneumatic system provides higher reliability of the components downstream, reduced power wastage from overpressurization, and increased component lifetime. Solenoid valve. Solenoid valves are control units which, when electrically energized or de-energized, either shut off or allow fluid flow. The actuator takes the form of an electromagnet. When energized, a magnetic field builds up which pulls a plunger or pivoted armature against the action of a spring. When de-energized, the plunger or pivoted armature is returned to its original position by the spring action. Actuators Actuators are output devices which convert energy from compressed air into the required type of action or motion. In general, pneumatic systems are used for gripping and or moving operations in industry. These operations are carried out by using actuators. Cylinder A pneumatic cylinder converts compressed air energy into a reciprocating linear or rotary motion. They are simple to use and are a cost-efficient solution to move loads linearly, making them commonly used in the automation of machines and industrial processes. Pneumatic cylinders, also called air cylinders, are the final component of the pneumatic system. Maintenance of pneumatic system. This is the very important factor of pneumatic system. As you are aware, a pneumatic system is an interconnection of various components such as compressor, actuators, control valves, and other elements using fluid conductors. The operation of the pneumatic system is affected by the presence of heat, dust, moisture, leaks, loose bolts, and misalignment in the system. Lack of regular maintenance may result in the premature wear of moving parts. The loss of air and associated pressure drops and increased downtime of pneumatic components. 
Therefore, a good preventive maintenance program must be in place for removing the harmful elements from the system from time to time, and usually as per a checklist. Air leakage of pneumatic system. Leakage is another important and most common aspect of any pneumatic system. If left undetected for a long period, problems like enhanced load on the system, wastage of compressed air, increased maintenance and operating costs without fruitful results, and even the risk of loss in quality of production can be experienced. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about specific aspects of pneumatic systems or other exciting topics, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay curious!